As we all know, the world currently faced with the global crisis of pandemic COVID-19. The pandemic of COVID-19 started to spread from Wuhan, China, where the first case was discovered at the end of 2019. Then, it continued to spread to other countries in the world. As the number of cases increased, so were the number of the death rate of those infected. The pandemic caused major effects in many sectors in the country. The educational sectors were also included. When the number of cases increased, the educational facilities such as the school and university were forced to close. This caused many effects for those involved in the educational sectors such as the teachers, staff and the students from the primary school until university. This will cause a major change in the education system of a country as there will be a new need to search for new ways to teach the student. This is so that the students won't fall behind in their studies. The topic that I would like to say is the changes in education systems. First, PT3 and UPS are cancelled. Most of the classes will take place online at home but not face-to-face -face except SPM and STPM examination. New students' registration of primary, secondary and tertiary schools will be done online. Educational materials, schoolwork and assignments will be uploaded to Google Classroom. Only university students that apply courses that require them to complete tasks and experiments in person or have poor internet connection at home are allowed to go back campus. Students will be given 1 gigabyte to support their virtual learning during pandemic COVID-19. While Digital Educational Learning Initiative Malaysia, Dilema, Edu Web TV and Cikgu Tube are provided for teachers and pupils since last year. Besides that, I will share about the changing of teaching way during the pandemic of COVID-19. During MCO or CMCO, the biggest change of the teaching way is from face-to-face -face study to online learning. The online learning policy suddenly forces all the teachers to become KOL. Their teaching way changes from oral presentation in classroom to live presentation in online platform. For instance, they conduct live lecture via using Google Meet, using Google Jamboard represent the blackboard and in the classroom. This action is just to ensure that all the students still can gain the knowledge without going to school. In addition, teachers also will record the lecture video to ensure that students still can continue studying at home because the students just need to use their fingertips to play the video. This method gives more advantage to students because they can repeat to watch the video for strengthening their understanding about the topic. These are the scenarios that won't happen before the pandemic. Thus, online teaching is a big transform to the teaching way. That's all from me. Thank you. I will discuss the problem faced by students during online class. The most common problem faced by the student is technical issue. Low bandwidth and weak internet access might restrict the student from participating in the online classes. It is a big challenge for them to join the online class and it's also hard for them to catch up with the syllabus in school. The next problem is digital literacy. Most of the students, especially the primary school students, they don't have a certain degree of technological proficiency, including the ability to successfully log in, participate in classes, submit work, and communicate with their teachers and classmates. The last problem is distraction. There are too many distractions when studying at home, especially with family and possibly younger siblings around. They will also get distracted by their phones and access to games or social media apps such as Facebook and Instagram. This will cause them kind of focus during online class and also lack of motivation to learn. Hi there, now I'm going to talk about the problems that teachers face in the virtual learning class. First, irregular office hour. Students often message teacher, even it had already passed office hour. Most of the teachers have been experienced getting a message from students in the midnight. Next, teacher will need more time to prepare for their class. For example, preparing class for their students and make it easier to understand. After class, teacher will need to write a lot of reports and submit to headmaster as they need to record the performance of their students in class. Not only that, Teachers have to think a lot of interesting ways to grab students' attention in class and sometimes it is really hard to control in-class discipline if students are not giving cooperation. 
And here come the most painful part when parents couldn't understand the purpose of teacher's action. They often blame teacher for giving too much of homeworks or too less of homeworks and disturbing teachers by spamming messages. Well, I think I will stop here and let my mates continue. Thank you. Today I'll be talking about the effect of COVID-19 towards education. One of the most vital points that is affected is the performance of the student. Since the abolishment of UPSR and PD3, students either in lower forms or in primary schools will tend to take things easily and do not pay attention either in schools or in online classes. As a result, they become more and more lazy. Besides that, due to the recent COVID-19 cases, Ministry of Education has decided to close down schools but online classes will be carried out. Through online class, students tend to cheat in exams since there is no face-to-face -face in the physical class. So it is near impossible for teachers to catch students cheating in exams. For some subjects, face-to-face -face classes is needed in order to carry out. Therefore, if these subjects were carried out online, students find it hard to cope with the lesson. Moreover, students may suffer from dry eyes since they spend quite a long period of time on the screen. Last but not least, students' performance will be affected because of poor internet access, insufficient device and faulty device. This will directly affect students' performance because by having this type of problems, students will be unable to attend online class. So that's all for my part. Thank you. Next, we will discuss about the students' learning attitude in online classes during MCO or CMCO. As a student, we should have self-discipline. Students must read the textbook or material that given by the teacher or lecturer in advance before classes so that students can understand the course better after explained by teacher or lecturer. I know that some students are able to focus on class and cannot understand well in online classes. Even though some students can't get out for online class and this cause them give up online learning and always skip the classes. If students are unable to concentrate in class, they can try to self-reflect on why they are unable to concentrate in class and try to solve the problem. For example, in class, the student's phone is placed next to Zoom or her, and this cause the student want to play mobile game or reply their friends' messages. Students can try to put their phone in a place where they cannot see it. They also can try to silence or shut down their phone so that they can focus more on class and learn better. Plus, self-discipline is a vital learning attitude to ensure we also can gain the knowledge in this pandemic. Thank you. In conclusion, the pandemic COVID-19 has certainly impacted the education sector. Due to this pandemic, it has become more challenging for the school, teachers and students. They have to learn and get used to online education system. Both teachers and students face many problems and are having more stress than usual. Until this day, cases of COVID-19 are still increasing dramatically. This is because people are not taking this pandemic seriously and not taking precautions. Everyone should be responsible, wear masks, wash hands frequently, and do not go out if it wasn't necessary. Together, we can overcome this pandemic. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you.